Paul Thomas, Senior Editor of Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Magazine, and I'm here today with Nicholas Havelange. Nicholas, thanks for being with us today. And Nicholas is with our TELUS, and he's going to tell us today about um, your iCellus technology for bioprocess intensification. Yes, so exactly. Tell us what we're looking at here. So, in fact, this is a prototype iCellus bioreactor. This bioreactor is, uh, well, has been designed for animal cell culture. It allows uh, growing cells at very high cell densities, more than 100 million cells per ml. And so it's a proprietary technology from Artelis, mm -hmm. and we use it to, to uh, develop contracts for uh, biotech industries in the field of monoclonal antibodies, vaccine manufacturing, and uh, cell therapy. So we have several contracts in the field of cell therapy and vaccine manufacturing. And so the, the way the bioreactor works, in fact, we have uh, kind of uh, fibers or carriers where the cells uh, uh, grow in adherence in what we call the fixed bed. So this is the central part of the, the inner cylinder of this bioreactor. And so the cells grow there at very high cell densities. So the, we have a centrifugal pump allowing the liquid to go up into the, the, the bed, going down along this uh, falling film to be oxygenated again. So we don't need a sparter. The old bioreactor will be uh, supplied, uh, pre-sterilized, and ready to use, and can be disposed after after use. And what are the fibers made of? It's a kind of plastic material, hydrophilized to allow the cells to grow on the, on the fibers. So it's a polyester-based material. Mm -hmm. And how about scale, yield? Um, what, what so, so the scale, so we go from the small scale bioreactors that we can uh, provide uh, from uh, 5 ml fixed bed up to this unit, which is a 5 liter fixed bed, up to 25 and in the future 100, 100 ml. Great. So, mm -hmm. And your website, if people want to find out more information? Yes, it's www.artelis.be. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank you. Being